is Dr. Luke Rennick with Living with Motion Chiropractic. Today's video we're going to discuss spinal degeneration, what it is and why you need to take the appropriate uh, course of treatment to prevent this from happening. Um, first of all, sp spinal degeneration is another word for arthritis essentially, the breakdown of the bones and joints and disc uh, in your spine. Um, it's very important over rough estimates of $20 billion spent each year in arthritis on arthritis meds. Um, it's a huge number. Obviously it's an issue and as a chiropractor we need to educate people that there are things that you can do to prevent this from happening and even if you do have arthritis there are treatments that we can do that will pro provide relief and slow down the progress progression of uh, degeneration in your spine. Um, there are essentially four phases of degeneration that we're going to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you an example of a spine so you can kind of visualize what's going on here. These are two examples of uh, some bones in your, in your back. Example here is a healthy, healthy disc and healthy bones. You see there's nice smooth edges, the disc height is well maintained versus this uh, example here. Obviously you can see the difference, the rigid bone structure through here, the decreased disc height. Uh, so this bone here, example of an arthritic bone, stress to this area, the, uh, the, the, the spine actually changes they're called osteophytes. Um, this is going to inhibit range of motion, uh, muscle spasm, pain, uh, a lot of things that people come into the office for. Um, so like I said, there are four phases. Phase one of degeneration, this is starts essentially with a normal, with a minor loss of normal uh, spine balance and spine curvature, whether it's your neck, mid-back, or low back. Uh, the surrounding feature of the spine, such as the nerves, disc, and joints, um, they begin to basically age quicker because they're continually more stressed. Uh, this stage of spinal dege degeneration is rarely accompanied with any kind of pain at this point. Um, and obviously with proper treatment, um, there's a great chance that you can recover and, and get back to the balance uh, spine and, and spinal curvature at that point. Phase two, uh, the, the second stage here, um, this is where things start to begin to change. There's awful uh, often a narrowing of the disc and potentially deformation of the bones at this point. Not quite like the example that I showed you, but those those changes are, are in motion. Your posture is off, often beginning to degenerate as well at this point. Uh, the spinal canal and the openings begin to narrow. There are often significant aches and pains associated at this point. So this is where patients are coming in. They're having aches and pains and are already in phase two of spinal degeneration. That's why it's so important just because you have, you know, aches and pains, people think that's the beginning. Well, that's phase two potentially. Um, anywhere from your 30s or 40s, uh, you can start to have these changes. So <clears throat> you also might have more fatigue um, and stress are more common to the stage. Um, the good news is that there's a great chance we can still get you back to where you need to be at this point in the game. You get to phase three, however, this stage usually there's a significant amount of uh, physical pain at this point. Um, decreased range of motion, you feel aches and pains through your spine. Um, there's often uh, nerve damage at this point, as well as significant changes in the bone structure and the disc. Um, stage three, this is an example of stage three that I showed you previously. You can see that it doesn't look healthy. Um, the disc height's really starting to, to shrink, which then can impinge on the nerves. Um, that go to different areas of the body. Um, so at that point, the goal is to reduce the stress to that area of your spine that degenerated. We need to we need to also look at the areas above and below that area, and then make sure those um, areas of your spine are functioning properly to take the stress off of that key area, uh, so we can slow down that progression of degeneration and and as well take away the pain and uh, aches and pains that are associated with that. Then we get to uh, stage four of degeneration. This is the last stage. Uh, at this point in time, most damage is, is permanent, including scar tissue, nerve damage, uh, structural changes in the, the bones itself. Um, depending on your condition, surgery may be indicated at this point in time. Um, as a chiropractor, our best option is to help uh, man manage your pain and discomfort, um, along with um, other physicians that you're seeing might be needed uh, to do that properly. <clears throat> so four stages of degeneration. Hope you understand the importance. Phase one, a lot of people don't know that they're having a loss of uh, curve in their back. 
at that point. It's not until phase two that you start to have the aches and pains. So it's important to get your spine checked by a chiropractor to see what your spine looks like and then hopefully um, catch you in between the phases one and phase two where we can start working with you and get your body back to balanced position and uh, it will down the road be a uh, benefit to you to keep that range of motion in a healthy spine. Um, if you have any questions, um, please go to our website www.livingwithmotion.com. You can find our contact information if you'd like to get your spine checked out at our office. Um, and we can go through uh, the, the phases of spinal degeneration if that's a issue that you might be having or not. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Thank you.